been up to Rob. What's this working? It's working, taking care of kids. Shit, the knife for it to email him. Email my questions. <laughs> oh, here they are. Okay, I got it. See us both on there. Phone number is visible. All right, let's do this. Bouju, welcome to uh, the Johnny R Show, episode three, I believe it is. With me today, we have uh, Red Lake District candidate Rob May. Thanks for coming on, Rob. Yep, you're welcome, John. Just want to go over, like you know, like I told you, went with Chris. Just basic questions, and you can just. Answer them how you want, you can go off on your notes or whatever, and okay. just get right into it. Like, uh, first question I had, pretty basic, you know, could you give us a quick summary of your background, work history, achievements, family life, okay. stuff like that? Well, uh, I grew up here in the Red Lake District, East Red Lake, mm -hmm. uh, raised by my grandma and grandpa, you know, lived here my whole life, uh, moved away for maybe six months mm -hmm. when I was a uh, student teaching mm -hmm. down in Bemidji. Uh, I currently live with my five daughters. I have all girls. I have twin daughters, so they're 14. I have a 12-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 3-year-old. Mm -hmm. And live with my girlfriend. Um, I'm currently the director of the Solid Waste, director of Solid Waste Management mm -hmm. for Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians. and. Mm -hmm. uh, down at the transfer station, so I'm the lead garbologist, mm -hmm. which it's a fun job, it's challenging. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I learned a lot since I started. Mm -hmm. um, before that, I worked for the school for about a year. I taught at the school. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was at gaming for three years. Uh, n numerous jobs before that, Boys and Girls Club, where I worked with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked at housing when I was a young guy for about five years. Um, I graduated last year from University of Minnesota Duluth mm -hmm. with my master's degree in travel administration and government. Mm -hmm. So I think that degree, you know, really prepared me for running for office. Yeah. You know, I learned a lot about uh, uh, accounting, federal accounting, tribal accounting and budgeting. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned about federal Indian law and policy. Yeah. We had two years of that class. We had a, a year a year of leadership class and a year of project management so it it all kind of relates to you know working for the tribe yeah. it's a program that was developed by tribes throughout the midwest uh my class was the first graduating class of the program yeah. it was our masters in tribal administration and governance mm -hmm. and uh i got my bachelor of science degree in elementary education from Bemidji State University in 2006. Um, still, still a licensed teacher. Mm -hmm. Renewed my license last year, I believe, 2010. So it's good till 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I want to do somewhere I can apply what I what I learned getting my master's yeah. degree. And I think you know holding uh, you know a, a office would well, mm -hmm. really get a chance to apply what I learned but uh, you know proud of my kids mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much about me okay. my history work history uh, next question what brought you to the decision to seek the Red Lake District representative position uh, I kind of touched <clears throat> on it but I think um, it's something that I always wanted to do you know mm -hmm. since I was I'd say since I was in college at Bemidji State University mm -hmm. it's something that I started leaning towards and then once I got my master's degree in mm -hmm. you know tribal administration and governance it's you know something that I wanted to do yeah so that really you know caused me to lean toward it mm -hmm. okay uh, what makes you stand out from the other candidates who would that would make the people want to vote for you um I think you know all the candidates bring you know some good to the table. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a good list of candidates. We have Bob, mm -hmm. Deanna, she served on several boards. Mm -hmm. I know Bob since you're in high school. Yeah. Mott, you know, knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. You know, Ducker, of course, he's been in the tribal council for years. So, mm -hmm. you know, he has 
vast amount of knowledge, you know, working with the with the tribe and everything. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I think everyone, you know, brings something different to the table, mm -hmm. and you know, either way, it's gonna be, you know, a good representative. But where I stand out, I think, you know, having my master's degree, you yeah. know, studying, you know, doing the research and really mm -hmm. looking into, you know what affects our, our tribe, you know, everything from federal laws, policies, to state laws and policies. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's something I could really apply. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? So what kind of, you know, we got this here for all candidates, let them all come out and express themselves. And like uh, for your campaign, what tools are you using to get your message out to the people? Well, I'm I'm just starting. Uh, mm -hmm. I, was, I was really glad that you invited all the candidates mm -hmm. to be on your show. It's something we didn't have when we were growing up. Yeah. You know, social media. We didn't have computers or cell phones. Yeah. You know, one line on the telephone. And I remember <laughs> being a little kid, getting home from school, is being able to watch Channel Nine, Mr. Rogers, Sesame Street. Yeah. But yeah, now we have you know the internet, Facebook, everything. It's you know we have so many tools that we can use you know mm -hmm. to our advantage. And uh, I think uh, I'm working on a Facebook page right now. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, I can find someone to help me out with that. Mm -hmm. uh, just going the traditional route, I'm gonna, you know, get signs made, mm -hmm. little flyers, you know, go on uh, RLN, uh, maybe the radio. Like that's a good avenue to go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's there's a lot of tools that mm -hmm. you know weren't available before. And I plan on going door to door. Yeah. It's gonna be, but that's something you know. I really want to connect with mm -hmm. the people. Yeah, it's one way to do it. Yeah. Um, if elected, what could the people expect from their district representative? If I were elected, I you know, one of the things that I like when I was going to school that I think we need more of is we need our representatives to actually be in touch with the people. I mean, mm -hmm. you have a representative. And uh, you rarely see them, you know, you might see them in a community once or, and they go to the meetings, you know, they represent you at the meetings, but I feel that if I was elected, I would make sure that I had regular community meetings, yeah. you know, even if it was just quarterly, mm -hmm. it would still be four meetings where a year where, you know, we'd connect with the yeah. community members, you know, actually hear what they, you know, what's the concerns that are going on in mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important and that's something that I would work my hardest to do, always be in touch with mm -hmm. the members of the community. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, this is just, uh, you know, if you're elected or not, where do you see the Red Lake Nation headed in the next few years? I think we we have a lot of potential um, in the next few years that I would really like to see us make a huge effort to work on our, our, our language. Yeah, it's some you know. One thing that I learned while while I was in school was you know, in order to go where get to where we're going, we always got to know where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to know our past and what you know our ancestors yeah. wanted moving forward, and we got to want them same things for our kids. Mm -hmm. I think uh, our 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 language is really important. You mm -hmm. know, if we don't have our language and our culture, what's what makes yeah. us you know. Mm -hmm. Ojibwe, you know, we got to hold on to that. You know, I see our land uh, is really important. We have so much land and it's only going to be growing. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to that uh, constitutional reform meeting the other mm -hmm. night and they had a lot of, lot of, lot of valuable information there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think Red Lake has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to the next mm -hmm. few years if I'm elected or not. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a pretty, pretty exciting election season, man. It's yeah, it is. going to be change. And a lot of change. Something we haven't seen in like almost over 10 years. So yeah. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of fun, I'll say. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you want to have a statement prepared. Are you going to read what you got there? Or? Uh, just, I was just getting my uh, material together for my, my campaign flyers. Mm -hmm. But uh, just some of the, the issues that... I have are the topics that I want to go over. I guess my main points would be, you know, more accountability for the representatives. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, uh, right now I don't know if there's job descriptions for the representatives, and mm -hmm. you know, that's that should be something that's in place. You know, yeah. 
you know, you have to do this, you have to do this, you know, more than just going to a meeting mm -hmm. uh, and actually stay in touch with the community, with mm -hmm. the people that voted you in because yeah. that's what you're doing. You're representing them. You're not there for yourself. You're there for the community and the people. Mm -hmm. uh, for the community, I think we need, especially for Red Lake, we need more activities, more events where people can get involved, you know, activities for our youth, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you, I've seen like Little Rock out at the Roundhouse, they have like outfit making classes and mm -hmm. it seems like there's always some going on where in Red Lake, you know, we don't see it so much. I, I don't see it. No. I don't know if it happens, but I think mm -hmm. we need, you know, like uh, to support community events. That's something mm -hmm. that I really think we need to support our community. That way we can yeah. build a stronger community. That's one thing that stands out to me. Our culture, our language, I touched mm -hmm. on that. And uh, our land and natural resources, some that we got to preserve. Yeah. Because that's what our ancestors wanted, mm -hmm. you know. To, so we had our land here for us, and we got to do it for our yeah. grandchildren too. But uh, the more some of the, you know, the, the main things, there's so many other issues, and, you know, I don't want to go into detail, we'll be here yeah. all night. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's, you know, a lot of things that, a lot of things that you hear every election, jobs, mm -hmm. drugs, gangs, and I figured that my four main points, you know, community, uh, accountability, culture and language, land, you know, they, uh, that, they're four topics, but they're broad, yeah. you know, in a community you can discuss how you're going to create jobs, support small business. Mm -hmm you know, have events to prevent our kids from being bored all the time yeah. because I think that's what it is. They get bored, you know, making a connection between our elders and our youth, you know. We don't have that and in yeah. recent years, you know, we've seen so many of our elders, you know, go. Mm -hmm. I mean, just recently, you know, I lost my grandmother two years ago, you know, and, you know, she was like my rock. So, you know, our elders are leaving yeah. and we got to, you know, like with all the technology, we can... You no, know, use it to you know record our language yeah. you know get stories because a lot of that stuff's gonna be lost once they're gone mm -hmm. but uh them are some of just you know some of the basic issues mm -hmm. topics that i have yeah. uh, i'm sure there's a lot more and uh looking forward to the forums and actually meeting with the community members mm -hmm. at the forums and you know hearing what they what they have to say mm -hmm. going out uh you know meeting everyone face to face yeah. Looking forward to it. I know it's going to be a lot of work and really looking forward to it. Have you been out yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Just getting Finally all your it. Yeah. stuff together. and yeah. huh? It's going to be a lot of work. Yep. Shaking hands, kissing babies. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting over a cold, so uh, maybe it's not a good thing to go out right now. <laughs> Put on a mask. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the community safe. So, uh, so when do you think you're gonna start getting out there? And um, I'm hoping probably start next week because elections will come up fast. I yeah. know they will. And uh, I was thinking about it. And Red Lake is, you know, a huge community. Mm -hmm. We got 89, Walking Shield, Barton's, Town, West End, East Red Lake. You know, it's a it's a lot of ground to cover. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, County just around by where I live, there's almost 300 houses just in that area. Jeez. So it's a lot of ground to cover. Mm -hmm. So hopefully next week I'll get started on that. You know, mm -hmm. after work in the evenings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think I have any traveling to do. Mm -hmm. So hopefully get started on that right away. Mm -hmm. uh, Got to wait. Uh, hopefully next week I'll get my um, campaign materials as well. Mm -hmm. you know, the signs. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little postcards. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'll need a big three-page thing or anything. One little postcard will be fine. I have my buddy, um, Joe Naquinabi. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. He's mm -hmm. he's gonna help me develop some of my yeah. some of my materials. Yeah. Graduated with him, so that's really cool. I got him there to help me. It's pretty big, pretty big asset to have there, yeah. Joe Naquinabi. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to Joe. What's up, Joe? Yeah, he hired me for the. For a Malax fall dinner a couple of years ago. Yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. Pretty good, pretty good guy. Yeah, and his brother Pete. 
about. But, um, what was I going to say? I had a question. I forgot what it was, but. So what, um, I drew a blank now. <laughs> Never mind, I, thought, right, I thought I had a good one, man. But I'm nervous, I thought I'd be ready for it, but once you actually sit down and feel yeah. that camera coming mm -hmm. on you, everything's yeah. rushed. Yeah, that's the thing Chris was saying too, but you know, it's just the camera, you know, where you think we're going to do it, and then it just, it's a whole different once yeah. you see that red light come on, yeah. and can't be like visiting like bros, I don't know why, you just, that whole thing just <laughs> yeah. turns different once and I I'm sure once on. we see it. Once I see it, I'm like, oh man, I forgot to say this, I forgot to say that. Yeah. I was going to ask, do you have any any website or numbers you want to give out? or um, Bob L. May at yahoo.com. And uh, I can be reached at home at 218-679-2293. Or um, one of my cells would be 434-1227. Okay. So, uh, I don't know, any th closing statements or anything you want to share with the people um i'm just looking forward to meeting with everyone like right. i said uh hopefully you'll put me in office to be your next representative i feel i'll do a good job and uh i want to encourage all the young people to get out and vote uh, that's important there yep everyone should get out and vote mm -hmm. everyone holds a power to make the changes mm -hmm. so i want to encourage everyone to get out and vote it's up to you Young yep. people, but uh, I don't know. Thanks for coming on, yep. man. Thanks for Appreciate having me on, it. We'll do this again. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank our hosts, C's Coffee Shop, owned by Cheryl and Greg Thomas, six seven nine three seven six three, dot com, and uh, they got coffee and I don't know, specialty drinks, donuts, donuts, daily specials. Good people, good, customers. good people, good customers. Hey, I like that. Yep. We'll put that right here. Good people, good customers. See his coffee shop dot com. <laughs> all right, man, that's all I got. Thanks for coming on, Rob. Don't forget to vote.